Welcome to Motive Wave version 6.1. Here are some of the highlights of the newly released features. Floating stations. A new layout has been added to the docking framework to allow for floating stations. A new layout containing floating stations can be created when creating a new page or editing an existing page. Floating stations allow for overlap, resizing, and can be moved freely while maintaining their fixed location and sizing. Resizing windows does not affect the sizing or positions of the stations. Other features include dragging and dropping station tabs to the content area, which creates new stations, or moving panels between stations by dragging and dropping the station tabs. Further options in managing stations can be found under the dock menu. The next feature is Untitled Analyses. This feature allows analysis to be scoped to the chart instead of the instrument, and it is not shared across charts. It is a default analysis when opening a new chart. If your analysis is very simple or mostly based on studies, then this is likely the desired behavior. The analysis will persist with the chart when changing symbols or shutting down and reopening motive wave. Changes, however, will be lost if the chart is explicitly closed. The next feature is Export and Import Pages. This feature allows you to export specific pages from the console or desktop which can then be imported to another instance of MotiveWave using the Import Page option. From the Export Pages dialog, you can select one or multiple pages along with a file location for the page export to be saved. Exported pages can then be imported into another instance of MotiveWave by selecting the Pages zip file. From here, you have the option in selecting your pages and or analysis for import. Pages can also be set for auto-export via the Configure Preferences menu where you can select some of the options. Next we have the Data Export Groups feature. And this allows us the ability to export data automatically and in groups. From the Configure Preferences Historical Data Data Export panel, we can click on the plus icon to create our new data group. From here, we can set options such as the name, the data format. We can also set auto export along with the interval, along with our export directory and our created symbols. Once we're done making the changes, we can click on export now. You can then initiate further manual exports by selecting the data export group in your list and then selecting the data export icon. Any further exports for that data group will be appended to the original CSV file. Our next feature is Save as Image Name. By default, when you save an image of the chart, it will save it with a timestamp. In Configure Preferences, we've added the option under Chart Options down here to have the last image name to be used. So if this is checked, then the last image name will be used instead of the default timestamp. Version 6.1 also introduces three new studies. We have the DSS Bresert the Rahul Mohinder Oscillator, and the Moving Average Ribbon. Details on these individual studies can be brought up via the Study All Studies menu in MotiveWave. We have also introduced NT Renko Bars, and this specialized version of Renko Bars starts the next bar at the midpoint of the previous bar instead of the top or bottom of the previous bar. And this bar type was developed by Newbie Trader. Information can be found at this link here. Bring it up in MotiveWave. We can right click on the chart, select Chart Settings, and then from the Bar Settings tab, select NT Renko. We have also added two options to the Elliott Wave Preferences. We have Show Future Points. If checked, none of the future points will be displayed. This is in contrast to the Show Future Points being unchecked, where only the first future point is displayed. And then we have Show Origin. If unchecked, the origin point will not be shown, even if it's the top level wave. For our commentary or custom components, we can now change the default text for when the component is created. We have also added labeled line components in the general component group, and this allows us to attach a custom label to our horizontal lines. In this case, I've attached the word support to this labeled line. With alerts, we've added the ability to add multiple alert conditions when creating or modifying an alert. We can simply click on the plus and add more conditions and change accordingly. We have also added the indicator draw on top feature. This option allows us to draw an indicator on top of other indicators. This is on by default for bid, ask, and last price. 
and this feature is also available for study indicators. Here are some other features that are available with the 6.1 release. And that's it for this video. For more information and details, please look at our What's New in Version 6.1 guide.